I'm here with the book. I was gonna say bookish blues, but that's who created it. Wow. Oh, Jay. It's a good thing you're cute. Even though you're not that cute, so. You don't got anything going for you. Ooh. Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with the pets book tag. It was created by Bookish Blues. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but it seemed like super fun to film, so here I am. There's a total of eight questions that I'm supposed to be answering, so without further ado, let us get started. The first pet is dog and it is loyalty and it is your auto by authors and I'm going with Sarah Dessen, which doesn't really make sense. I've never actually read a Sarah Dessen book. I think I read one in like grade seven, so I don't really remember it, but every time I see a Sarah Dessen book in the thrift store, I buy it. I don't know why, it's like a OCD compulsive thing where I like see it and I'm like, I need it! My real autobiographer, who like I actually have read in their books, I would say is Louise Renison. This is the 10th book in the Georgia Nicholson series. I read these when I was like 14 and I absolutely love them. She's such a good, funny British writer. I can't get enough of her books. I don't think she really writes any lately. I haven't heard of any from her, but if she does, I'm gonna buy it because I love her. The second pet is Cat and it is self-sustained and it is your favorite standalone novel. I'm going with Daddy by PJ Ferguson. I would go with the death, but I don't think it's a standalone anymore. This book follows Joe Williams and he lives an ordinary life with his wife Maddie and his twins Sean and Mikey until a tragedy strikes the family and it's up to 12 jury members to decide whether or not justice comes into effect. It's really good. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. It is so fast paced and such an easy read. It was kind of boring at the beginning, but then as soon as the plot twist comes, like, you can't put it down. I definitely recommend it. Pet 3 is Goldfish and it is drowsy, and the book that you're supposed to show is one that puts you to sleep, and I am going with Ella's Love by Jasmine Lee. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I read this in December. I'll leave my December wrap up somewhere so you can check out my thoughts, but I, I did not like it. Shameless promotion again, you know? Four is Rats and it is Curiosity and it is a book that you picked because of its cover and I am going with Fateful by Claudia Gray. I don't know what it is, but every time there's a girl walking away, I buy the book. I don't know why. And also it's shiny and like reflective and I like shiny and reflective things because I'm a magpie and therefore I bought the book. I read this book for a readathon. I can't remember which one it was. I'll leave my wrap-up video for it. More shameless promotion. It's a werewolf book, which you, you wouldn't get from the cover, but it's a werewolf book and it's actually a good werewolf book. Five is Horse, a really big pet, and it is a book that is longer than 500 pages. And I'm going with The Diviners by Libba Bray. I have not read this book. It's like 576 pages or something like that, but apparently it's very good. Pet 6 is a reptile and it is chilling in the sun and it is a quick and relaxing read. And I am going with Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. I wouldn't say it's necessarily relaxing, but it's extremely fast because there's like a bunch of pictures. Of course I'm not flipping to the pictures because that's how my life works. But it's like filled with pictures and stuff like that. You can probably see it hopefully when I'm flipping, who knows. But there's a lot of pictures in here. I'll leave my wrap-up video for whatever month it was so you guys can check out my thoughts for it. I think I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. Honestly, I can't remember this stuff. I'm getting old. I'm 20. I'm basically ancient. 7 is Ferrets and they are slinky and it is your favorite funny character. And I am going with Alice from Alice in Zombieland by Gemma Shoalwater. She's so sarcastic and I find her hilarious. You could also go with Kat, her best friend, who is also hilarious. They're so sarcastic and they just work well together. So therefore, I'm counting it as they are one person now. So I like Alat or Callus. That's not a good name. I'm sorry, but they're great. I gave this book a four out of five stars on Goodreads. I'll leave my January wrap up up here so y'all can watch it. This is like five self promotions in one video. I am on a roll. Next is Birds and they are true love and it's your favorite fictional couple. I'm going with Baran and Natalia from Upside Down by Leah Riley. This is a super uncommon book. A lot of people have not heard of it. I read it back in May of 2015 and I absolutely loved it. It was good. I only gave it a 3 out of 5 stars because I had my problems with it. But they are such a cute couple 
and I think that opposites attract because she's like OCD and he's the bad boy and it just, it, they're so cute together. And the last pet is ants. I don't know why you would want to keep an ant as a pet because I feel like they'd be very boring. But they are hard workers and it's who do you tag next? I'm going to leave that down below. Hint, hint, it's you, so tag your it. Alright guys, so that was the pet book tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! The first animal is dog or pet or whatever. How am I going to do this? Pfft, forgot what I was going to say.